The Google Play Store is the place to obtain applications for your Android device. Sometimes, people want alternatives. They want the option to not be tied to a large corporation that may gather your data through the applications that they have. Or maybe there's something that you need that is just not on the Google App Store. This is the Digital Prepper, and today I'm going to look at five alternatives to the Google Play Store. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys, if you do like the video and want to discuss anything regarding digital preparedness or just preparedness in general, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to get more like this. With that being said, let's get started. So why would you want an alternative to the Google Play Store? Well, currently, if you are an Android user, you probably live under the safe umbrella of the Google Play Store. There is a good reason for that, seeing that it has the most apps, Good security compared to third-party app stores, it comes pre-installed on most Android devices, and it usually works pretty well. With that being said, there are a few reasons why you would need an alternative. One, there may be an app that is not on the Google Play Store that you would like to have. The Google Play Store and the App Store will remove an app, which could be one of your favorites, as soon as somebody like the government tells them to do so. Two. You may want to have a beta version or an older version of an application. I normally wouldn't recommend having an older version of an application for security reasons, as older applications may have security holes that have not been patched. However, some updates may not be desirable, and you might want to revert back to a previous patch of that application, which you cannot do with applications on the Google App Store. Getting started with the alternatives. The first one I'll talk about is F-Droid. F-Droid is a open source app store. It is one of the older app stores on the list and one of the most trustworthy. This app store runs on donations and is run by volunteers. It only allows free applications and it has a policy of not pushing applications that include paid add-ons or advertisements. There are some basic applications on there like galleries or simple calendars, along with a very small selection of games. This is more of an app store for people who need something a little extra that the Play Store doesn't have. Another good thing about F-Droid is besides the fact that in and of itself it is open source, every application on that platform is open source. You can even find alternatives to F-Droid on F-Droid. The second alternative we'll look at is APK Pure. Like F-Droid, APK Pure is also an open source place for applications, and the applications that are available on there are free, as there are no paid applications available on there. Also, with APK Pure, it does allow you to download applications that are region locked, that may not be on the Google Play Store, and they also have older versions of applications available as well. Next, we have APK Mirror. This is not necessarily an app store, but it's more of a repository for applications. A repository is a file storage location, and it can be used to store various versions of the application, which is beneficial if you do want to use an old version of some sort of application or game. Like APK Pure, the applications on here are free of region lock. You don't have to create an account to obtain applications from here, and you can browse and download applications without any sort of registration. Finally, you can also get access to early alpha and beta versions of any of the applications that are on there. Next, we have a little bit of a different option, the Amazon App Store. This is honestly one of the best alternatives to the Google Play Store. And while you do need an Amazon account in order to have access to the store, it does provide some other benefits that the Google App Store does not. It does have both free and paid applications, and you can gain access to Amazon coins, which is basically kind of the same as Google's Google Play coins that you can use for in-app purchases if needed. Finally, we have GetJar. This is the oldest alternative and currently has over 800,000 applications. The good thing about this alternative is that it doesn't just have Android applications, it also has applications for other mobile platforms like Blackberry and Windows Mobile. So if you do have a phone that's not necessarily an Android phone, 
then you would still have access to obtaining applications for your device as well. Do remember that it is a good thing to have alternatives to things like the Google Play Store. It does give you more options and allows you to, if needed, not have to connect to accounts that you might not want them to have your information. This is good information for your digital preparedness. Do remember to do some research and pick whichever one of these alternatives best suits you. And I do hope that you utilize them. If you did like the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to get more videos like this that will help you with your digital preparedness. If you have any ideas for more videos or just want to share your experiences with prepping, leave a comment down below. More digital prepping to come.